timeless concepts from physics help life in this video tutorial we will discuss a multiple choice question taken from jee main exam of 2022 the question is based on angular velocity angular acceleration and angular position of a rotating body read the question carefully a ball is spun with angular acceleration alpha is equal to 60 square minus 2t where t is in seconds and alpha is in radians per second square at t is equal to 0 the ball has angular velocity of 10 radians per second and angular position of 4 radians the most appropriate expression for the angular position of the ball is the options are given in the question we are required to find the correct option now for the solution we have retained the options given in the question and also the given data angular acceleration alpha is equal to 60 square minus 2t we mark this as equation 1 and initial at time t is equal to 0 the angular velocity of the rotating ball omega 0 is equal to 10 radian per second and its angular position theta 0 is equal to 4 radians we also know that angular acceleration alpha is equal to the time rate of change of angular velocity therefore alpha is equal to d omega by dt we mark this as equation 2 similarly angular velocity itself is the time rate of change of the angular position therefore we write omega is equal to d theta by dt which is equation 3 putting the value of alpha from equation 2 in equation 1 we get equation 1 implies d omega alpha is equal to 60 square minus 2t what is alpha d omega by dt d omega by dt is equal to 6t square minus 2t now cross multiplying d omega is equal to 6t square minus 2t into dt now we will integrate this equation here only so integral of d omega is equal to integral of 60 square minus 2t into dt now we know that when time t is equal to 0 time changes from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to t 0 to t when time is equal to 0 then the value of angular velocity is omega 0 which is equal to 10 radians per second and at time t let it be equal to omega therefore this gives us on integration omega minus omega 0 is equal to 6t square 6 into t square integral is t cubed by 3 Minus two t integral is t square by two, and this between limits zero to t. Now six by three is equal to two, so two t cubed minus two to get cancelled minus t square. This is between zero to t. Now we can easily see that if we put t is equal to zero, t t is equal to zero. then the whole thing will be zero and if you put upper limit t then it will be the same expression 2t cubed minus t square therefore we write omega minus omega 0 we will put the value omega minus 10 is equal to 2t cubed minus t square therefore omega is equal to 2t cube minus t square plus 
Now omega is equal to d theta by dt is equal to 2t cubed minus t square plus 10 cross multiplying d theta is equal to 2t cubed minus t square plus 10 into dt. We'll integrate both sides of this equation. Now time changes from 0 to t and correspondingly angular position changes from theta 0 to theta. Now theta 0 is given as 4 radians per second. So this left side integral becomes d theta becomes theta and putting the limits upper limit minus lower limit theta minus theta 0 is equal to 2 t cubed integral is t to the power 4 divided by 4 minus t square integral is t cubed divided by 3 plus 10 integral is 10 t this between 0 to t now here again the same thing if you put upper limit t then you get the same expression and we put uh, 0 which is equal to which will give the expression as 0 therefore this theta minus theta 0 will put theta minus theta 0 theta 0 will put the value 4 is equal to 2 2 are 4 so therefore we have got t to the power 4 by 2 minus let us write it clear now okay t to the power 4 by 2 minus t cubed by 3 plus 10 t this taking minus 4 to the RHS so theta is equal to t to the power 4 divided by 2 minus t cubed by 3 plus 10 t plus 4 this is the expression for angular position now this is the most appropriate expression for the angular position of the ball so if you compare with the options given in the question we see that this is the same as option b therefore option b is the correct option so you can write that correct option is equal to b this completes the answer to the question thanks for watching